Hello, welcome to the little shop. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. This video is not going to have any guitars in it. It's not going to have any amplifiers in it. <laughs> You're not going to hear anything. We're going to be talking about bias. And uh, that can be a very long discussion. But what we're going to do is focus on the negative bias circuits in most class AB amplifiers and particularly in the 900 Marshall series simply because there's been so many misinformed comments about it has been brought to my attention uh, the naysayers and the trolls and uh, the <laughs> forum feeders uh, no matter how misinformed, are a very dedicated group. <laughs> I found out one thing for sure. You put up a Marshall video, expect people to complain. So, I'm going to explain a few things here. We're also going to get into these little guys, which is a source of the problem. These are the safety caps used in a 900 circuit. But we're going to get to that later. We've got some basics to cover first. So, first thing I want to say is any amplifier, any class AB amplifier that's not cathode biased, needs to have some form of negative bias supply. One of the most dedicated that's uh, been around forever is they use a tap on the secondary side of the power transformer to give you a voltage for your bias. You can see here you've got your 325 AC, your 325 AC here in the center tap for ground. Coming off this side of the transformer winding we have a tap. It's going to deliver probably somewhere around 40 volts. Uh, usually 40, 50, somewhere around that. Then you have to go through your dropping resistor through a diode to make it uh, negative DC then you've got your filter cap, then you've got your adjustment for your bias. Then your bias comes out here. This actually happens to be, uh, I believe, from a blackface deluxe circuit. Like I say, this is more dedicated one with the tap. Now the reason for this is, this is actually a little bit more expensive because I have a special transformer. The plus side is, like I say, you don't have to deal with such high voltages for your bias. The downside is, it's a more expensive transformer because you have to have a separate tap designed into it. You can use the same power transformer in an amplifier with two 6L6s or two EL34s but your bias voltage is going to be a lot different. Usually about 10 volts more negative, less voltage, like a negative 37 for an EL34, and a negative 42 to negative 52 usually for 6L6s. So that's why we have this tap. But that's just for the sake of discussion to tell you the kind of bias circuit it is that has nothing to do with the Marshall JCM 900. <laughs> so, so here we have the 900 bias circuit. Now what they do, they tap off, uh, make this easier for you, they basically connect to one side of your high voltage AC. Okay, That connects here. Then it feeds through a capacitor to a dropping resistor, to a diode, again to convert you to negative DC, and here's your first filter cap, another dropping resistor, 
a limiting resistor, and then your bias control, and then another filter cap. Then your bias from here goes to your grids on your power tubes. This is your typical Marshall JCM 900 circuit. Like I say, on the schematics and the amplifiers, they recommend a Class X safety cap. Well, that's not necessary. In fact, it's not even a good idea. Uh, I first started seeing these capacitor feed bias circuits failing in Ampegs in the late 70s, early 80s. Exhibit A. Here's my Ampeg VT, V22 schematic. If you look, it's basically the same circuit. Our voltage comes in here through a .047 capacitor, which is the same thing here, through a dropping resistor, then through the diode to another capacitor, then a preset resistor over here to give you your negative bias voltage. Now you notice this is not a safety cap. However, like I say, I started seeing these caps failing in the late 70s, early 80s in Ampegs. So Marshall throws in the safety cap. Okay, now let's look at something else. I have exhibit B. You don't really even have to have that capacitor. <laughs> Here's a schematic for a Fender Princeton bias circuit, and here is the same high voltage feed coming through a dropping resistor, 100K in this case, through the diode, capacitor, and the load resistor to set your bias that comes out here to the grids of your 6V6s. So why are they using the capacitor feed? Good question. Exhibit C. <laughs> Here is a JCM 800 2205 schematic. Basically the same thing. They're bringing their high voltage AC in here through a 220K dropping resistor, through a diode, capacitor, resistor, limiting resistor, trim pop for the bias, another capacitor for filtering, and then your feed for your grids of your output tubes. All right. Now, let's discuss these little guys. A very nice gentleman commented the other day on uh, this old Marshall video. And, you know, these videos are old. The information is still correct. I stand by it. But, like I say, this very nice gentleman commented the other day about uh, how wrong I was about this. That it was a safety capacitor and it was there to short and blow the fuse. Well, let's take a look at this theory. Oh, by the way, if you're going to uh, <laughs> make a comment to me about something and chastise me about something, it'd be really nice if you have your security settings set so that when I approve the comment to respond, it doesn't disappear. Anyway, <laughs> so... In his theory, this capacitor is supposed to short if it's over voltage or have a problem to keep you from being shocked. First thing, there's not enough ground reference here to short to to blow a fuse. And something else he didn't realize, every one of these I've seen fail does not short. It opens. 
meaning that you lose your voltage feed to this and your bias completely goes away and all of a sudden your tubes red plate then it blows a fuse so you've lost a set of tubes because this fails your best case scenario if this would short and fail it would short directly across and be like it wasn't even there so you know your voltage would still be applied here and it wouldn't blow anything up that's not the case they always open and the voltage goes away leaving you with no bias voltage whatsoever so let's carry on the class X safety cap discussion with about two minutes I found this online to back up what I'm saying first of all a safety cap is not supposed to be in line with a voltage like this a safety cap class X is designed to go across your AC line coming in one of the reasons is there is to prevent electromagnetic interference from the power grid from getting into your system secondly if there's an overage, overage here or something or a spike this is supposed to short the two AC lines together and blow your fuse. That will not happen in this circuit. So again, yank this thing, throw it away, and get you a 630 volt capacitor and put in it. So I hope that makes a little sense to what I've said there. Now I've made that clear as mud, I hope that, <laughs> that will help clear up some of the comments and misconceptions and actually there's going to be more questions, so I'm going to uh, put this video up and anxiously await the comments. <laughs> so I hope that this has actually passed some information on to you. So till next time, play nice. I'll see you later.